has developed a good uh, uh, experience in infrastructure. Where we want them to focus on agriculture, but they shouldn't lose that track record, good track record they've had in infrastructure. And this is where we have big challenges as Africa. It's easy to, to attract bilateral donors into agriculture. Yeah. It's not easy to attract them into yeah. infrastructure. Okay, because it's long so, term. Yeah, it's long term and uh, it really needs big money yeah. and we need to brand it with uh, borrowing. So I think while yes, we need to work with the bank on agriculture, especially on research, on, on, on improving the quality of agriculture and transformation of uh, our agriculture. Yeah. But I think they need to continue focusing on infrastructure development in our countries. Yeah. And in terms of the overall direction of the bank itself, yeah. what's your general sense? Are we moving in the right direction in terms of the focus that we have now? We're talking about uh, trying to make sure that, yes, we focus on, agriculture, on, on, on infrastructure, but at the same time, of course, there's the whole day China dimension. There's the impact of the European crisis. Are the strategies that are being play, put in place correct? What more needs to be done? I think uh, what, what the, the president said today, the president of the bank, uh, is they will continue playing the role as a leading financial institution of this continent, especially on working with the different countries on how best we can wither through this crisis uh, from Europe especially and also uh, in China, as we are saying, the, the reduced growth in China. So while we have been uh, strong growers, in the past, uh, say five years, as Africa, and we, we, we managed to wither through the 09 uh, uh, global financial crisis. Yeah. I think, as President Kaberuka said, the options we had that time are not uh, the case today. Today, True. today we have limited options. We are uh, limited. This time yeah, we are more vulnerable than we were at that time. True. So we need a strong institution like the African Development Bank to work with us on what policy op options do we have. What yeah choices, fiscal, monetary, and all that we can work together as Africans, not each country individually, to be able to wither through this uh, second round of this global financial crisis. So we think there they need to do that. And one reform they have done, which is very key, is bring closer, what we call the resource persons, closer to the countries. They used to be highly centralized at, in Tunis, at the headquarters. Now they are decentralizing their resource persons to regions. For example, our region, we have a resource center in Nairobi, yeah. where we have all the required resource persons in, uh, for, from the ADB uh, in Nairobi. Right. But also uh, working as a group of countries. So if I have an, ex an energy expert in Rwanda, yeah. this expert should be available to Kenya. Or right. to, so that is going to help us a lot in terms of uh, uh, supporting uh, policy choices across the yeah. continent. One of the external shareholders I spoke to yesterday raised the issue of reforms in the bank. In his view, he said he thinks the bank is not focusing enough on results. Yeah. Is that a concern that you share? Uh, from my experience, I wouldn't say so. From my experience in Rwanda, because we, we work with the bank together with the other partners. Yeah. And maybe that's a different experience, because sure. we we work as a group of partners and we follow up results on the ground. Sure. So the bank is really active in following up results on the ground. And I think from that experience, I, I wouldn't want you to say they are not really doing well on results. But if that's the case elsewhere, yeah. they need to. Because what we've been saying, you talked about agriculture, we can put money in agriculture. But if we don't follow it and ensure we get results, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So the issue is not how much we put in any in sector, this is how much are we getting from any penny we are putting in any sector. Finally, Minister, there will be a resolution table before the Board of Governors about the bank returning to the Ivory Coast. What's Rwanda's stance on that? I think that's been said. We all support the bank returning to its headquarters. But what we've said, what was discussed yesterday in the GCC, it has to be done in an orderly manner. We avoid hurting the business of the bank. We avoid hurting the credibility of the bank. So I think what we are read yesterday the bank, the management and the board will come up with a roadmap uh, on how this is going to be done. And I think we support that uh, uh, approach.